Good blessed it, uh, Wednesday morning, uh, April the 14th, 2021. It's about a 10 o'clock or 10.01 a.m. First, I want to say uh, happy heavenly birthday to uh, my niece, Anquanette April uh, Fizel, also known as Baby Cakes. To some of y'all, uh, happy, uh, well, heavenly birthday to my uh, niece. Uh, I greet all people all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me, my YouTube channel, nor any social internet uh, videos or anything that I put on social internet. I don't look for you to give me likes or dislikes. All I require is your undivided attention. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> earlier I showed y'all, I think it was about uh, 8.40 uh, uh, a.m. It's been a, a, about an hour and maybe an hour and a half or a little bit longer than that that I've been stuck on traffic on I-57 uh, 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 southbound headed back to Charleston, Missouri. I'm about maybe 30 miles or so from Effingham, uh, uh, Illinois. Uh, it's been a bad accident. Uh I'm going to show you the police in a minute. Uh, he just told us everybody to try to pull up. And I told some of the people that's out here now what probably was going on at first. The northbound traffic was moving pretty good, uh, but it's been a bad accident. And he did say uh, he didn't say indirectly. He said somebody not uh, living, but I'm going to give you. Uh, this is the police officer right here. How we looking down there? We're going to start opening this up in one lane going that way. All right, we're praying for the people up front, man. Yeah, up here you can see the, the officer right there. He was telling all of us to move our vehicles up, which I told the people earlier, being working on the ambulance. You know, I've seen situations like this here before. Uh, but he came and tell everybody to move their vehicles up. If you had noticed earlier, the traffic here in the northbound lanes heading to Chicago, Kankakee, and other places, uh, they, was, uh, they was moving. But down, if you can look all the way down to the end here, where that Vodot is at, uh, you, you can see a lot of uh, uh, emergency vehicles. What they're doing is blocking this particular left lane uh, so they can get tow trucks and things to make that left turn up there to come down through this hillway on the other side where the uh, ambulances, three ambulances came from uh, this northbound traffic to come back around to the southbound traffic to go down there where the accident is at. He said we might be here for a couple of hours. You know, uh, some people may uh, have a complaint about that, but ain't nothing you can do about it. Uh, I don't complain about it if I had to stay here 24 hours because somebody family member is not coming home today and I can identify with that because uh, you know uh, since March the 19th of 2021 my son we couldn't see him no more besides uh, April the 9th uh, 2021 uh, at his uh, uh, life celebration at his funeral but uh, y'all just pray for the families that might have lost uh, who family Members may have been uh, uh, victims up in up, up front here. I don't know exactly what, but uh, the officer, when I asked him uh, earlier when he was coming back this way where I'm at, uh, asked him what's going on. He wanted everybody to move up close as they can and uh, asked him was any deaths. And he flinched his shoulders, uh, indication that it was. Uh, early I seen a helicopter right before I started making this video seen a helicopter going that way but y'all just be praying 
Uh, my intentions was to get down to Carbondale early. I left my daughter's house early, uh, about maybe six o'clock or s almost seven o'clock to uh, try to get down to Carbondale and do a little bit more investigation uh, concerning my son's death. But, uh, you know, whatever God's will it be, let it be. But uh, let's pray, y'all. Those of y'all that's praying, I was talking to a man out here. Uh, he a couple of cars in front of me. Uh, and uh, I was telling him about my son's uh, a death. And then uh, we was talking about the things in the world. And I said, you know, God knows best. Uh, but his, his response was a lot of people is giving up on God. I'll never give up on God. Uh, but his response was that... Uh, what did he? What it was his words? I'm trying to get his words right. His his response was that, uh, well, I used to believe that, but look at all this stuff going on in the world. You see, uh, Job went through stuff worse than me. I lost, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. I lost both of my brothers. Uh, I, I lost my niece, my children's, my youngest children's lost their mother. Uh, uh, I lost my dad in January of this year and just lost my son. But I don't give on, up on God. My body get weak, uh, but I don't give up on God. You know, uh, I, I'm i deeply hurt. Hey, I got to get in here because everything is moving again, y'all, a little bit here. But I, I'll never give up. Uh-oh. I'll never give up on them. What did I do with my key? I'll never give up on uh, on God. I hope that people don't get to cussing me out. But I never give up on God, y'all. I, I know God knows best. Uh, everything that happens, it, it actually happens for a reason. People don't, people don't see that, you know. Job, if you look at the, uh, read the book of Job, y'all. In the book of Job, Job was one of the most righteous. I believe he, uh, back in the day, he was the righteousest person on the, on the face of this earth. And, uh, Satan came to and fro to, uh, ask God, can he tempt, uh, Satan? And, and, uh, God allowed it him to, uh, do things to Job, uh, that, uh, we couldn't imagine. Let me ask this guy something in a minute. But, uh, hold on a minute. We gonna be able to get all the way through now? Thank you, amen. You're doing a good job. God bless y'all, man. You. you know, I'm, 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 I'm a former EMS man, and I, y'all did a good job, man. All right, God bless. Yes, sir. Uh, but, uh, anyway, y'all, Job, you just just look at the story of Job, and and uh, one of my one of my friends told me, you know, he was saying how what Job went through, and I know what Job went through. Job lost all of his his livestock. Job lost uh, all of his family. Job's wife told him to cuss God, but but Job wouldn't. Job kept the faith, and God God gave him double what everything he lost. You know, uh, we got to re we got to remember in the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verses one through eight. Uh, it tells you is in the one verse one tells you is a time in a purpose or a place uh, for everything on the face of this earth under the sun. You know, it's, it's it's a time to live and it's a time to die. You see what I'm saying? And and one thing it tells you in there that we all have to remember. It said, it said it's a time to cry, it's a time to dance, it's a time to laugh. But then that again, it's, it's a time to refrain from all of that. You see what I'm saying? It's a time to refrain from crying because you can't cry all your life. You see what I'm saying? If you have other loved ones to take care, you can't take care of them crying all, all day and all night, 24 hours a day until the day God call you away. That's the guy's vehicle there. Uh, but we, we looking good, y'all. Uh, I'm going to get on in here and stop uh, stop this here for a minute. I'm going to let y'all see what my babies is doing. I don't 
y'all see what my babies is doing? Can y'all see my babies? One of them weed all the way back there in the back. But y'all just keep praying for us. I might still stop down in Carbondale to, to try to check up on uh, what happened to my son again. But uh, I'm going to try to get on up here where the accident was at and let y'all see a little bit up there. But let's be praying for the people that might have lost their lives. At least his prediction that uh, we wouldn't get up out of here, but I, within about two hours, everybody cooperated and moved their vehicles up so the emergency vehicles can uh, get past, and that was a good thing. The saddest thing to me in this whole situation is somebody lost their life. What means? know it had to be and more than likely it was an accident in Chicago we know most times it's a uh, it's some type of drive-by you know y'all just keep praying for me and my daughters too and my my family and friends at least those are my family and friends that care about what happened to my son you know uh, like I said before everybody that said a family is not necessarily family they may be family and blood but they don't uh, do what families normally do families normally support each other no matter what you know rain sleep hell or snow you know but uh, coming up here I guess where the accident must have happened looked like they done cleared a lot of it got the state highway patrol on both sides here we can't never say that all the uh, state highway patrols and, and uh, can't never say all the state highway patrols and and police officers is not doing their job this is this is a job you know here go one of the vehicles here y'all if you can see it real good, the vehicle down there in this. I'm a peace out, y'all. It seemed like uh, when me and my daughters and my, my three daughters and my grandchildren, and we was on the Eisenhower the other day, we had a vehicle somewhat similar, but it was turned upside down. But uh, anyway, y'all, I'm finna go on ahead and try to head on to Carvindale and uh, try to do another reenactment. Y'all y'all pray for me, and I'll pray for y'all, and I'll just say peace be still for right now.